we are back with another Minecraft Pixel One versus series. Hey guys, it's me, Vixel23. <laughs> We're doing this again. In this series, I will be facing off against another member of the pack, Jerome ASF. Now, if you guys remember, I did one of these against Rob. I beat him. Me and Rob played against Mitch and Jerome. We beat them. I played against Lachlan. I beat him. So now it's just me against Jerome in a versus series. We are going to be building our teams training them up and then battling at the end to see who is the champion. We will be playing on the Anubis MC server. If you guys want to join, the details are down below. You'll need the uh, Pixelmon Ultra mod on the Technic pack. The links and the instructions are down below. When you join the server, we will be on the Oasis realm. So during the series, if you want to try and catch us on there, that will be where we are going to be. And uh, when you get on there, you can use slash partner redeem Vic to get yourself some goodies on the server so episode one which we have right here our plans are we are going to jump in we're going to have a building competition to build our base each whoever builds a better one will be rewarded with goodies on the server then we're going to have 15 minutes to capture our pokemon team that will be then training up next episode and getting ready for the battle so let us jump in right here right now and get it going okay all right give me a default starter who has been good to me in these challenges before? I feel like, I feel like, ooh, who has been? You know what? Usually I end up going for one of the fire boys. Like I've had Blazikens and Littons in the, in, the, in the past. We're going to mix it up this time round. We are going to go with a Froki who becomes a Greninja. So there we go. Bang. We've grabbed him. We are in. We have arrived. We've got some goodies right here. It is going to be a very, very good time. Hello, Jerome. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready, buddy. I'm just trying to think about what Pokemon you started with. Oh, that's a good question, yeah, because we're never going to know what each other has or what each other yeah. is getting. So that's the RNG element. Imagine I come with seven fire Pokemon. Even though you can Bruh. Sense. I hope that you have... Wait. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. No, I am undefeated, right. so I'm expecting big things. I hope you get lucky on these keys right here. Wait, what? Didn't you face, like, the old Pixelmon champion, like, Lachlan last? <laughs> Bro fell off real yeah, big I, time. Real guys big, washed. Real <laughs> guys washed. <laughs> All right, well, good luck with your keys. I'll see you for the yeah. building challenge in a sec. Okay, we have arrived at the crates. It's time to roll our keys right here. See what we get. So, you know what? I'm starting off big. All right, with the legendary shiny key. This is going to be basically the legendary on my squad because I doubt I'll find one in the wild. Let's open it up. Who are we getting? Just please not a water legendary because that would suck. Please, I, I shouldn't have said that because I feel like I'm going to jinx it. What have we got? A Tapu Bulu. I don't know what you are, but I've got you. The new generations go crazy, all right? It's a grass psychic, I think. Okay, cool. It moves... Look all right. Sure, whatever. We got it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but we got it. Okay, next up, we'll open the shiny key. We get another Pokemon. Here we go. Open it up. These are some pretty good Pokemons as well. Some pretty good Pokemon. So half of my squad has decided, potentially here, a Thwacky. I'm terrified because I... What is, what is a Thwacky? Okay, it's a, it's a straight grass type. So I've got, got Grass Psychic, Grass, and also a Froakie. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to give me loads of advice in the comment section. And you know what? Actually, I'm probably going to see a lot of it. But you're going to know my whole squad. So you can only advise me on what to do with my squad. Because we're picking our squads this episode. And then they're locked in. We can't change it. Should we say that we can only keep three of our Pokemon from this phase then? How about that? So two, two of the Pokemon we get from all of this. I don't even know what any of mine do. All right. So, all right. So we'll, we'll keep our starter and two Pokemon. Yeah, from here. And I don't even know what these are. So... All right, okay, I, I'm, okay, cool. Well, I have to decide based on four Pokemon I've never seen in my life before. <laughs> I wish That's we were good. on the That's a good start, day. dude. I mean, dude, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you know what, Vic? I'm going to show you because I... No, no, I, don't I don't do it. Do. No, I don't want to know. I don't want to win this fair and square. <laughs> oh, my God. He doesn't even have a Dexter. No, bro, you need to see this. Wait, okay. Just please. Just... <laughs> Brother, what? This is 2D. <laughs> Who cooked oh the Pokemon? <laughs> yeah, you don't want him on your team, bro. Very, very, very flat. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm getting out of here. I'm going to start working on my base. Do you know what's the worst part? I'm going to make Pokemon fanatics cry right now when I get rid of, like, two of the most overpowered Pokemon in the entire game. <laughs> Dude, don't, I, I'm pretty uh, sure both of us are going to Okay, all right. Don't we'll, we'll do this, and then we'll have our building challenge. Good luck. Always wish you good luck. All right, so I have to pick um, 
What is what? Okay, I've got to work out. I'm going to Google what these guys are. While Togus may seem extremely powerful, it has many weaknesses to common Pokemon that hold it back greatly. If there's any Pokemon created to take advantage of Serene Grace, it would be Togekiss. Armed with a fantastic move pool, including Stab Air Slash. And it's 60% chance to flinch in excellent overall stats. It can serve as a good utility Pokemon and overall annoyance. But it's not legendary, right? Okay, so actually, we should keep the two legendaries, really. I mean, that's a no-brainer. Okay, so me and Jerome have decided that we will be discarding one legendary each and one normal Pokemon each. My two legendaries, we've got Tapu Bulu and we got um, Zakian. And then we've got Thwacky and Togekiss. So I need to pick between them. And this is probably going to make people cringe like mad. But let's see. So this guy is a Grass Psychic, which kind of works well. This guy is a just a straight Psychic. So I almost feel like Tapu Bulu. Um, you know, I bet I can Google. Let me see. Let me see. There we go. Tapu Bulu is held back by its rather clumsy moveset and competition with Zakian on spot for a team. There we go. That, that, that answers it for me. Okay, so I'm getting rid of Tapu Bulu. And to be fair, between these guys, Togekiss has actually got way better, if you look, the stats on that versus the Thwacky. It just seems to me like I want the Togekiss, right? Togekiss. Psychic flying, and then also, oh no, but Zakian is, is psychic, I don't know, uh, let me see, I think people are saying Togekiss is awesome, so there we go, that's my decision made, so the first half of my squad is gonna be, and to be fair, if he comes in an Omega crate, it's gotta be good, right, so I've got a Zakian, a Togekiss, and a Froakie, what type is Froakie, Froakie, he's just water, okay, cool, so these are my starting guys. It is now time to redeem my Pokeball vouchers. Hopefully I get some good ones. Let's see. So I've got eight Great Balls. That's it. And I've got eight Quick Balls. Okay, they will be useful. And if I do slash kit, I can also get the Pokeball kit. And we don't have any of these unlocked. We can get, I don't need a spawner. That's not very useful. Don't need Poke Snacks. We will take our Tokens kit. Pokeball voucher. Okay, we get some high tier. Let's let's take all of these. There we go. We've got lots of Pokeball vouchers. The XP candies aren't really useful, so I'm opening all of these just to get our Pokeball that we're going to use for catching. So we've got there we go. Heavy balls, level balls. We're we're starting with a lot here. What do we get? We got we got a random TM. Nice. Luxury balls. I don't even know what does a luxury ball even do. Timer balls. Okay, we'll, we'll scroll over them and learn what they do. Some more Pokeballs. We've got every kind of Pokeball under the sun. Only one Legendary though, so I don't know what I'm going to use that on. Again, it's probably not going to be something great. XP candies aren't useful because we're going to set party at the end of this. All right, I've got all my Pokeballs. It is time to go and build my, 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 my Poke base. So, let's go slash home. This is the spot right here. Okay, we, we, we've chosen. We've come for this biome instead. Is this a nice beach? Ooh, ooh. Okay, I don't know what that is, but you know what? Let's build our house next to it. That's even... Okay, time to build my house. Here we go. One, two, three. That's going to be the base. Then we're going to come around like this, but actually you take out the corners to give it that spherical stature. Now, the actual inside of the house is going to be higher up than this, um, so don't worry about it. So there we go. So this is going to be the, the house. Let's, let's fill this in. This is also the bottom of the Pokeball. As well as the front of the house. So then here we're going to get some some sort of black material. Um, ooh, what would look cool? Polished blackstone. This didn't even exist in the game back in my day. Let's use this to make the uh, like the, the button type bit. Ooh. ooh, funky. Okay. What kind of cool door can we put in here? Let's put something that's dark. A blueberry door. There we go. Uh, maybe I put that a bit lower, actually. There we go. So that's like the, the doorway. Run, run, run. What do you want, Pokemon? Pat to that. I think just the uh, the one the one stairway up is going to be the, the meta here. There we go. So this is how you get up to the house. And what do we have? We're going to have the white coming up one more because that's like the button on the Pokeball. And then we need the belt of the Pokeball. So, you know, let's do this the whole way around. Let's go with this. That looks better. That's more Pokeball-esque. So this goes all the way around like this. Bang, bang. We could even put some windows in these. 
just put windows in there. Glass. Are we going glass panes? Yeah, there we go. Got some nice viewing. And now we go on to red. The top half is red. A little pokey house. Is this right? Yeah, I think. And then we just we just come in like this. Do you know what we can even do? We can even put in a nice little glowstone bit of lighting in there. Beautiful. I don't like that door anymore. What's a nicer door? Is there a white door? Maybe a birch door. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Oh, there we go. It looks Pokemon esque. So, there we go. This is my house. It's got lighting. We're running out of time now, so let's get all the goodies in here. Let's get a very cool looking. Let's match the color scheme. Let's get a red PC in here. Uh, what's it called? What's the thing that heals? Okay, a red healer. Yeah, there we go. It's called a healer. There we got a healer. What other cool Pokemon related stuff can we throw in in this last little minute here? Let's finish off our 10 minutes. Screw it. Let's put a static. Let's put a shrine in by the window. There we go. That's a lovely piece of decoration. Let's see if there's smaller tables. Let's, an end table. There we go. An end. Let's put it actually there because you don't want to block the window. And there we go. Let's put a little ah little PC table. All right. Uh, have we got have we got the shelves that look good? Let's just put in you know some some vanilla stuff can add to the look as well. Just a little bookshelf there. Everything is full up. You know I need one more little centerpiece. Let's do a prismarine block. There we go. Sea lantern block in the middle of the floor. And there we go. The bed can actually go under the window. We, we'll forget about the poker shrine. This is looking. This is looking clear. And that is time right there. So this is. This is where my warp is going to be. It will be protected, but you guys can come and use the facilities of the Vico land. Beautiful. Okay, we've had our 10 minutes for the building challenge. We have Momo, the server owner here. He's going to give the winning construction two random TM tokens. Let's see what you built, Jerome. Show us. Welcome, Victor. Jerome. Jerome. Yeah. Jerome. <laughs> what, what, what's wrong? What's wrong? You don't like it? It's... It's, it's, it's nice. It's, I, it's cute. I, I, love I the worked pink as hard wood. as I could on no, it. No, no, no. You never know. This could be the favorite. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Uh, look, I just, you know, it's a nice location. It's a nice idea. I like this. Yeah, you know, I figured like we could have a bunch of like, my town's going to be all like docks and we could like connect them with little bridges. You yeah. know what I'm saying? No, actually, you know what? You know what? It's it, This is what Jerome built. Okay, Momo, let's, let's have a score out of 10 for this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give it a three out of ten, Joe. Oh, bro, you, Momo. I'm so sorry, bro. That is six. That's at least a six. No, like it's got no creativity to it. Where's the creativity? No creativity. Man? The pink, dude. <laughs> the pink. Well, Jerome, this is my house. It's the the the, the pokey house. You come right, on inside. I, li I like the look. We got we got color coded it's equipment. A little, a little cozy. We got here, snacks, drinks, little PC to play games on. We got a clock. Um, this is the ultimate <laughs> gamer bedroom. Yeah. But like, I don't know, dude. It's kind of, it's like kind of tight, kind of cozy. I'm think, I'm thinking like a two and a half, <laughs> Momo. What do you think? Nah, nah, nah. I'm thinking about a six. Yeah. The creativity so aspect. The, there's cosmetics here. The little PC. Yeah, there's literally the a vending machine here. You know what? I stand by what I said before I did my build. I hit tab and held over Momo and I called him a turd. And I stand by it. <laughs> Didn't age. All right, give me my tokens and let's go and catch our teams. Catch yeah, so starting now, yeah, we have 15 minutes to go and catch our teams. And that's the end of the episode. So good luck, Jerome. I yeah, I'm going to Ultra Space. See you later, Vic. Pokemon. Oh, that was very cool. I hope you... I oh. Hope you well. All right, we need to catch Pokemon. Um, is a Volibe... Okay, I'm stressing now. See, they're all going to go to level 50. Do I just run around and try and pick uh, Pokemon? All right, what have we got here? Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. A Gabite and a couple of Gibbles. I w guys, this is going to be bad for me, all right? Because I'm used to working with generations of Pokemon I know. And I'm probably going to run past like a high generation Pokemon that I know really don't really know well. And it's going to be bad. But we've got literally 12 minutes left to catch a team. Do you know what I can do, actually? I can fly on my, my Zahian. Oh, but then I can't see anything. Hold up. This is good. This is culture. This guy's fast. Okay. Could be a viable vibe. You know, actually, this is like more of... Oh, another Pokeloop. 
There we go. We got prism scale. So we're getting some. Oh, right, yeah, that's timed out. Okay. All right. We need to find the mountains or something. Like, if something looks big, I'm going to pick it as a Pokemon. This is a great place to find Poke loot, but honestly, we're not getting many Pokemons. So let's pick that up. Let's see if there's somewhere better we can go. Oh, what's this? Is this a boss? It's an epic camera up to boss. I just don't think I'm going to be able to kill it. What is that? That is a weird Pokemon. What the heck is that? A Sandra Condor. My Sandra Condor don't. You know what? Let's try and catch it. I don't even know what it is. But I'm going to try and capture it. Just because it, I don't know, it looks cool. The thing is, I don't even know what, I don't want to waste like Ultra Balls on it. Because it might not even be that good. If, see, he just like, it looks like a scary Pokemon. Come on. Let's grab it. I've got it. I don't know if it's good or not. Let's see. A Sandra Conda. Summary. It's a ground type. Which you could use. Let me, let me Google it. Decent speed and attack mean it can commit to a coil set. But it's typing a sports, poor special defense leaves it out. I don't know. It, it won Pokemon of the week one week. So you know what? We're doing this in a hurry. So I'm not too mad about that. Okay, now I want to change biome. I really do. All right, I need to get out of the desert. We've got a ground type Pokemon here. So BRTP. We've got a water Pokemon, a ground Pokemon. Where do we want to go? Snow, we get an ice Pokemon or a swamp Pokemon. One from the woods. Let's go mountains. Ooh. Ooh, is that the thing that makes a pillow swine? Which could then be a mammoth swine. Hold up. Let me see if I can... Let me see if I can uh, jump my way up here. What is this? No, it's a... It looks like a burger. It's a knuckle stack. Is it good? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. We've got a load of birds. Star... Starlies. They're not... They don't look great either. There's a swamp down here. I don't know, his types or his moves or something. Let's try and cap. Let's just capture some stuff and then we'll pick our final six at the end. I guess if they're difficult to catch, maybe that means they're good, you know? Should I really be ra wasting ultras on this guy? I don't know. Okay, we got him. Let's jump to the water. Let's send it. Here we go. Bam. See if we can get like a poison Pokemon or something in here. Hold up. If we warp to the safari. There's hella Pokemon in here, I feel like. Okay. No, yeah, this is where we were last time. Okay. We could probably catch some better Pokemon in here because this is like everything all in one place. We've got just a couple of minutes. I probably should have been here all the time, but to be honest, Jerome didn't even come here at all. So just being here is an advantage. Okay. What do I have in my team? I potentially have a ground, a rock, a water psychic. Uh, let's, let's get them all out just so we know it all. Uh, and then water, like, ninja or something. I don't know. And then the Togekiss, summary, he's like flying fairy. Okay, so we're missing like grass type. Oh, we can fly in here too. We're missing like grass type, poison type. Let's just fly around and see what we can find in these last few minutes here. Can we spot anything we like? You're not moving around this fast. Probably isn't the way to go. Okay, what have we got? Let's go one down. I'm yelling timber. Bro is literally a lumberjack Pokemon. Mankey can be a bit of a savage. A salandit? That looks terrifying. Do I... I guess I do need a fire Pokemon, actually. Let's see if this guy's difficult to capture. That's like how I'm deciding if he's good or not. Sandit broke free. Salandit. I feel like that's like... I don't know. Let me see. Great addition to any trainer's lineup. Yeah, okay. Looks like the best fire Pokemon around here. I don't know. I may have got that horrendously wrong. It, and it keeps breaking free, which suggests to me that it's good. So this could actually be the final one of my squad. We've got two minutes left here. So unless I can replace any of the others. I'm going to hit it with the Master Ball. Like, all right, one more and I'm hitting it with the Master Ball. All right, YOLO. There we go. There's our Master Ball used for the sound it. I've got maybe time for one more. Wait, isn't that thing really good? I don't even know what it is. It's electric, right? What is it? A Siglyph. Siglyph broke free again. So maybe I should have saved my Master Ball for this guy. This guy's sick. I don't even know what he is. I'll try and cap the throw. All right, one more for the Siglip. And then that is... All right, this is time after these two catches are attempted. No, well, there we go, guys. Time is up. My 15 minutes is over. These, I can't use that and I can't use that. So pretty much, and I actually, that 
I don't know when I caught that. I caught that when I was building. So actually, I haven't even had time to get anything extra. So this is my team of six. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions in terms of like move sets, strategies, what types of EVs I should be training on them. Let's check out their um, their IV. So this guy's boosted special attack. This guy's neutral, neutral. That I think is good. Boosted special attack on a throw key is good. This guy's boosted special defense. This guy's boosted special attack. He's got good stats for a level nine. Okay. All right. Well, this is my squad. I have these items. Let me know how to prep next episode if you guys have any suggestions. If not, just see what I get up to. And then we will be building our team upwards. But that is the team I'm going to be fighting Jerome with at the end of this series. Thank you all for tuning in. Check out the server IP down below and how you join and all that good stuff. I'll see you guys next time for some, some pre-game preparation. Thanks and goodbye.